Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to detect a player with the highest score on a scoreboard, how to detect a player with the lowest score on a scoreboard, or how to detect a player who is equal to a particular score on a scoreboard, all using the scoreboard operations command. We're going to be using the greater than, less than, and equal to symbols in today's video. So we're going to have three different examples in today's video. We're going to detect who is the highest score, who has the lowest score, and who is equal to a particular score in three separated examples. These examples all assume that you guys already have a particular scoreboard objective set up that you would like to detect players' scores on. So our first example is going to be using a coins currency scoreboard objective so that assumes that you guys already have a coin scoreboard or you could use any scoreboard that you would like to this would be perfect for mini games and all those kind of fun things so we're going to go ahead and start off by detecting their high score but first we would like to go ahead and create an objective name based off of the objective that you guys have chose so my objective name is called coins so I made a new objective based off the coins name so we're going to go in the chat here and add that new objective, scoreboard objectives add first place coins dummy. So the first place coins dummy is going to hold whether or not I'm in first place or not. If I have a score of one on the first place coins objective, that means I'm in first place. So now we've established a way to hold who's in first place. We're going to go ahead and start to detect them with this particular chain here. You're going to go ahead and obviously store these commands inside of a ticking area most likely if this is something that needs to run all the time. So this is repeat unconditional always active and what we're doing with this command is we're going to go ahead and create sort of a placeholder, a fake player so to speak and it's in quotation marks there called first place coins and that's going to be like a fake player name that holds the high score for us so we know what the high score is. So scoreboard players reset first place coins, that's our placeholder, and then coins is our objective name. So we want to make sure we reset our placeholder right off the bat. <clears throat> and we have chain unconditional always active, and it's scoreboard players operation, first place coins, so that's our placeholder dummy again, and our objective name here again, coins. So we're comparing the placeholders coins to any entity in the world's coins objective and if the outcome is greater than so if the entity has a larger score than our placeholder score it's going to actually set the placeholder to the entity score so long story short what that means is now our placeholder has the highest score on the coins scoreboard so now that we know what the highest score is in the coin scoreboard, we can execute off of it. So we have execute as entity if score at self coins is less than first place coins coins. So what that means is if your score is less than the placeholder score on the coins scoreboard, we're going to run scoreboard player set at self first place coins zero. So that means that because you're less than the placeholder, you're not in first place. Sorry, buddy. Now chain unconditional always active here. We're going to decide who is in first place and it's pretty much the exact same thing except for doing an equal symbol. So execute as entity if score self coins equals the first place coins placeholders coins. So that means if your score is actually this high score, and then we're going to run scoreboard player set at self first place coins one. So now you have one on the first place coin scoreboard. So now we know who is actually in first place. Now you can see that on my feedback, it says all matches failed. That's because I wanted to start off with a fresh example here. I actually do not have anyone with any points on the coin scoreboard. So Arctic Shark over there, Arctic Shark Games, he's pretty poor right now. So we're going to go ahead and add some actual scoreboard points to some players. So we're going to go scoreboard players, and we're going to add at self, and then we're on the coin scoreboard. And then I'm going to give myself 10 coins. So now if we go over and we read the feedback on the high score, you can see that our first place coins placeholder guy there now has 10 points on the 
coin scoreboard as well. So it now knows that I'm in first place with 10 coins. So now we could go over here and we can look in my example commands here and you're wondering what exactly do I do with the high score? Well it'd be great for mini games and stuff like that. You can go ahead and use a tell raw and announce in chat who has the most coins. You can see it said Arctic Shark MC has the most coins or you could like have an outcome where you give players um, items and stuff like that or whatever like you know different things like that so now you can see I got a diamond and I will show you guys how to do those in just one second I just kind of wanted to prove the point that this as is actually counting who is in first place so let's go ahead and add the other arctic shark over there um, players add arctic shark and they're gonna add him a hundred coins now so we're gonna go coins 100 so now this arctic shark should have more coins than i do and if we go over here in the feedback you can see now that the placeholders is also set to 100 now so if i run this in the chat it will say a slightly different gamer tag there arctic shark games is now in first place with the most coins and then if you see i actually cannot get the diamond anymore it would be giving the diamond to arctic shark games had them in standing next to that command block so it is actually detecting who is in first place with the highest score. So now the example of that, we basically set ourselves up with scores equals first place coins equals one. So you can use that target selector in any command block that you would like. You're, you know, you got complete freedom with this. This is how I gave a person a diamond who won though. So give a piece scores equals first place coins equals one, diamond one. So that would give whoever's first a diamond. And this is the exact same thing, except for we're doing a tell raw. And I did tell raw at anyone. So that's telling all players in the entire world. I opened up a raw text. And the only important part about the raw text is I did an entity scores equals first place coins equals one. And then I wrote whatever text I'd like to. So basically, it's going to take the person who's in first place's name and then say has the most coins after it. So if you press that again, it says... Artichart Games has the most coins. So there's a couple of uses on what you could actually use these results from. You can do totally whatever you'd like to with it. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video, before we jump into the examples on how to detect a low score or how to detect a score equal to a particular value, I would appreciate if you guys go ahead and like and subscribe over here to the channel, Arctic Shark Games. Or if you guys are struggling with scoreboards or you guys love scoreboards like I do and you want to talk to other people who love scoreboards, you can jump into that Shark Commander's Discord over there where we chat about all things Bedrock Command Block related. I will throw a link in the description to the Shark Commander's Discord as well as I will try to put all the commands from this video inside of the video description as well so you guys can copy and paste them and have them for your reference. So if you stick around for the next portion of the video here, we're going to be talking about how to detect a player with the lowest score on a scoreboard objective. This is assuming that you guys already have an objective that you would go you would like to go ahead and detect the low score on, and we're going to go ahead in the chat and create an objective based off of that objective. So the objective that I would like to detect a low score on is going to be called death underscore counter. So I'm going to go in the chat and make a objective similar to that and I'm gonna call mine first place deaths so first place deaths is going to represent whether or not a player is in first place if they have a point on this scoreboard so scoreboard objectives add first place deaths dummy so now we have an objective in order to keep track of whether or not a player is in first place or not and we have the actual objective that we would like to detect the score on. So now we're going to do a pretty similar setup to that setup on the right there which was detecting a high score. This time we're just going to detect a low score. So scoreboard player set first place deaths deaths counter. So first place deaths is the placeholder dummy and then death counter is my objective name and then you can see I chose a very large number there that number is the exact maximum integer on a scoreboard so when you go ahead and compare this placeholder dummies score of the maximum score and any entities in the world's score their score should be less and it will set the score to the lower score which should be the lowest score on that scoreboard 
So chain unconditional always active and scoreboard players operation first place deaths deaths counter is less than entities death counter. So if an entity has a lower score on the death counter than that maximum integer that we were just talking about, it will set the first place deaths to the entity's score and now we know what the lowest score is on the scoreboard. So chain unconditional always active and it's execute as entity if score at self death counter is greater than first place deaths death counter run scoreboard player set at self first place deaths zero. So what that means is if my score on the death counter scoreboard is larger than the lowest score placeholder on the death counter scoreboard, then I'm going to set my first place deaths to zero because I am not in first place. I do not have the lowest score. I guess I'll have to try harder. So now we're going to go to the next chain unconditional always active command here and this one's going to actually set who is in first place if their score is equal to the lowest score. Execute as entity if score at self death counter equals first place deaths death counter run scoreboard player set at self first place deaths one. So this time we've set you to one if you're equal to the lowest score on the deaths counter scoreboard. So that is how you guys go ahead and detect who has the lowest score and you can see in my feedback here it said all matches failed because this is a new scoreboard I made just for this video and nobody actually has a score yet on that scoreboard. So if we go ahead and test out my tell raw it should say nobody's name. It'll just say like has one or has the least deaths rather. So it says nobody has the least deaths because nobody has died yet. So now let's go ahead and actually add some points to the players on the scoreboard. So we're going to go put scoreboard players set at self and I'm going to go deaths five or actually it's death counter is my example death counter five. So now that I have five deaths on the death counter scoreboard this system should know that five is the lowest score. So five is the lowest score because I'm the only player who's died. So now that it's been set to five if we go ahead and test my tell raw example you can see that it says Arctic Shark MC has the least deaths. So now if we shark set Arctic Shark games over there to say zero and we'll set Arctic Shark Games death counter zero. So now that means Arctic Shark Games is participating and he has zero deaths, which is lower than five. It should go ahead and set the feedback here where first place deaths placeholder is now at zero. So it knows that zero is the lowest score on the scoreboard. And we can go ahead and announce it again if we'd like to. Arctic Shark Games has the least deaths. So it does actually compare whose deaths are higher and whose deaths are lower. And I did this tell raw example exactly like this other one over there, except for I'm using a select uh, scores equals first place deaths equals one rather than last time we used coins and now if you guys stick around for this last portion of the video here this would be how you can detect who's equal to a particular score of your choice on the scoreboard using the scoreboard operations equal sign so now this here is going to be assuming that you're playing like a mini game or you know something like that and you already have an existing scoreboard objective my existing scoreboard objective is a made up name called game score so based off that game score name here we're going to go ahead and add an objectives and we're going to add game score winner so game score winner so this is going to be the person who actually won the game and now we have an objective to keep track of who has won. So it's repeat unconditional, always active again. And this time our little placeholder dummy, I decided to switch it up on you guys. I named the placeholder dummy winner. So scoreboard players set winner game score 100. So that means the person who wins this game is going to have a score of exactly 100. And then chain unconditional, always active. And this is execute as entity unless score at self game score equals winner game score. We're going to run scoreboard player set at self game score underscore winner equals zero. So that means that unless my score equals the winner's game score, which means unless my score equals 100, then I will not have a point on the game score winning scoreboard. Therefore, I am not the winner. I guess I'll have to play again. 
chain unconditional always active here so this is going to decide who is the winner and executes add entity if score at self game score equals winner game score run scoreboard player set at self game score underscore winner one so that means i am now the winner now of course there's other ways that you could detect you know who has a score of 100 you got the scores equals 100 you know if scores 100 all those fun kind of things that you could use i just wanted to show you guys an example using the scoreboard operations equals so this certainly is not necessarily the most efficient way to do an equal score but i thought it would be a fun little example to throw in here at the end and in any case you can see i have no score yet so it said nobody has won the game so now if we go ahead in the chat we'll go scoreboard players set itself game score 100 so now i have 100 in that mini game and it says arctic shark has won the game so those are a few different fun examples that you guys can use using the scoreboard operations greater than, less than, and equal command. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe over here to Arctic Shark Games. Jump into that Shark Commander's Discord to talk to us about scores and keep on commanding.